Yeah. We're, we're just going to talk to Catherine right now. Welcome on in. Thanks for coming so quickly. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, congratulations on the win today. First Thank you. main draw at a clay court event, and you get the win. You come through qualies. Uh, what was it like for you out there on the court? Uh, it was a great atmosphere. I really loved uh, the Cray One Stadium. It was, it was amazing, like a uh, very uh, intimate setting. <laughs> I felt like compared to the other stadiums I've been to uh, this year. Um, crowd was awesome. I mean, it's just it was a great experience overall. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, obviously, to see a player on the other side struggling physically, what, what are the challenges for you when you see that? Uh, you know, um, I try not to think about it, you know, you see it happening, but you don't want to think too much like, oh, is she, you know, not playing her best, she's not going to serve very well, like, you can't really think of those things because then you, you start to play worse. So I was just trying to um, just focus on myself more, see what I can do uh, with what I'm receiving um, as usual. This yeah. has been such a spectacular year for you, really dating back to the end of last year where you won 13 of your last 15 matches to enter this year. You make your first main draw to major at the Australian Open. So last year at this time, 325 in the world. Now in the live rankings, you're up to 133, Catherine. Congratulations on that. Thank you. What do you think you've improved most? What area to get you to this point? I would say uh, the mental part. Um, for me, it was huge to uh, just change my mindset to... Uh, just focusing on the process and not so much the results and, uh, you know, where I, I mean, I have goals of where I want to be, but I'm focused on what I want to do now and what I want to improve and um, just being, um, yeah, just very process oriented and uh, calm mind and, yeah, I would say that's the biggest thing. So what yeah. do you want to do? Where do you want to be? Well, top five, that's where I want to be. That's my end goal, I would say, and I mean, to win as many events as I can. Top five in the world, love to hear that. It's a, it's a fantastic mindset, Catherine. Uh, growing up, Robert Landsdorp, the coach, yes. uh, our own Tracy Austin, who was calling your match, yeah, yeah. coached her, Lindsay mm -hmm. Davenport, Maria Sharapova. How did that come about? Uh, yeah, I met him uh, when I was, I think, 13. And uh, yeah, so he came for a conference in Toronto. So that's where I met him. And uh, yeah, he just gave uh, his email contact to my mom. I guess uh, he liked the way I was playing at the conference. And uh, yeah, I just, I went to California and, you know, started training with him. And, you know, we spent a lot of hours together. He, I mean, developed my strokes and uh, just, I mean, if he's watching right now, like a huge thank you because, I mean, without him, I wouldn't be the player I am today. I've heard from from Tracy, Lindsay, uh, and others about the drills that he makes you. What are what are some of those drills that you had to do with Robert? Uh, hit ball after ball after ball, <laughs> nonstop, and uh, you know, like after every practice, twenty at the baseline. <laughs> yeah, keep keeping it simple. Just just drilling over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. Next up, mm -hmm. you get the defending returning champion Belinda Bencic. What are your thoughts on that match? I'm very excited, definitely very excited for that. Um, I want to try every player I can. Uh, the more matches I get, the better. And uh, Belinda will be, I mean, very interesting for me to try. She's a great player, great competitor. Um, I mean, amazing game too. And I think it'll be an interesting matchup because we both take the ball early. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see. I'm, I'm very excited. I know you represent Canada, but your, your parents are Ukrainian, correct? Ukrainian descent, yeah. How, how cool is it going to be for you to see Alina Svitolina coming back on court next after, after a year off? Honestly, I'm so happy for her. Uh, it's It's been extremely hard for Ukrainians, and uh, I mean, my grandparents are there right now, and uh, actually most of my family is there, but uh, I'm very happy for her that she's out after the baby and uh, she, I mean she that she still wants to play and wants to compete and I wish her all the best honestly I hope she comes back even stronger well we wish you all the best Catherine thank great you. job out there today and keep it going thank you so much Catherine Seboff into the second round here in Charleston at a career high 133 in the world having the best season of her life we will see her take on the returning champ Belinda Bencic